what's going on everybody welcome back so we're gonna talk about baron zemo and just how he's just crushing minion teams i'm gonna show you footage against three different teams now where these are all gonna be very different power levels on zemo the first one is gonna be punching across shield with a zemo that is like barely five 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 three not a lot of ability materials on him not a lot of no t4s on him at all so you're not getting that speed bonus with him but the punch across against shield just wrecks that shield team we've also got about a 50k punch up against hydra and that is a three red star gear 12 baron zemo once again easily crushes that hydra team and then we're gonna wrap it up with a t14 two t4s on the baron zemo five red stars five five just absolutely destroying a mercenary team so we're gonna have we're gonna show all three teams right now let's start off with the shield team here and one thing i'm going to show you right now the positioning is kind of important with this what you want to have if you're going to use two tanks i used drax myself and another alliance member of myself also used drax and a big shout out to hamzf for trying this out against the shield team you guys may remember him from my live pvp testing event video that we did with zemo the other night he tried out his shield team here and he's gonna have zemo positioned next to crossbones because anytime that a minion enemy takes a turn it automatically applies a stack of evade to zemo and any adjacent allies so if you're gonna run a two tank setup it's recommended you put zemo between the two tanks like if when i use drax i've got drax here and then i have crossbones here and zemo in between that's just the best way to set up that positioning otherwise positioning doesn't really seem to matter you can see that he is using kingpin he's gonna try to you know use uh use certain abilities in a certain order so that he can get the most out of that offense of the kingsman is gonna bring here but we've already talked about this before and did the testing last night kingpin not a really ideal fifth character but he has his tracks elsewhere on defense so this is who he had to use so you can see here with the with the room bonuses and everything it's pretty much a punch across with the shield team probably a bit of a punch down but you're gonna see just how easily he destroys this team so we're gonna go in the fight here and the one thing you want to watch for right away is pay attention to the damage that zemos does at the beginning of the fight and also the basically like the disrupt he puts on all the shield minions and that's gonna be big especially if you're fighting against shield security here so we've got we've got colson doing his ultimate right away it tries to put a taunt on winter soldier because of the defense up and immunity that zemo gives out at the start of the fight that taunt is resisted so no taunt there not really going to do anything but you already see you have these dodges going on because there was a there was a shield operative that moved first that shield operative moving put that evade up on it on the characters here so when colson uses his ultimate here he dodges that uh winter soldier zemo and crossbones dodge everything not really taking a lot of damage right now zemo's about to move and boom there it is he moves because he has charged the start of the battle he removes all buffs from minion from pretty much everybody on the field except nick fury here and puts disrupt on all minion characters so now there's disrupt on shield security so rip shield security not really gonna get that taunt out not really gonna be able to do anything here and then you're just gonna go crazy here now there seems to be a bug here there's there's at least one confirmed bug with baron zemo this one i don't know if this is a bug or if this is working as intended there's gonna be counter here on nick fury and he is going to use his rebound and he's going to use his ultimate here to attack Nick Fury now usually it says here in the text if counter attack breaks the chain and I know counters break chains but usually I see the text and I don't know if this is working as intended or not if this is a bug I'm sure you guys will let me know but this seems to be acting weird and there's also another issue too where sometimes his ultimate is not rebounding and this is causing issues too so he's going to use the ultimate here he's going to get the counter with Nick Fury so don't know if that's working as intended or not we're gonna go for colson try to wipe him out there there we go and now you can also see that he doesn't have fully upgraded abilities so crossbones could not use his ultimate on turn one too if he had that ultimate ready to go on turn one he could done some massive damage here these characters but he didn't instead he'll taunt but because of the evade stacks with zemo that that's perfectly fine now we have grenadier going here and grenadier actually Using that special grandeur is actually kind of nice because it removes buffs and does a decent amount of damage with it too. And you'll see some you'll see some assist with grandeur when uh, when Zemo attacks and uses his basic. You're gonna see some decent damage with grandeur overall. So grandeur is actually not as bad as we seem to fear, but you can also see that now there's all these buffs here from Nick Fury. We just have charged again on Baron Zemo, so he's just gonna he's just gonna use his passive here 
cleanse all those buffs once again and yeah so now we've got the ult now we got the special here which is going to do some massive damage to minions and if they die they can't be revived which is not a big deal for shield so he's going to use a special here against against operative most likely and does some decent damage but there's that defense up so didn't really uh didn't really get the desired effect there we go now we get to detonate with crossbones shield security is almost done shield operatives trying to do some work here but there we go we get the assist there with grenadier grenadier actually did about twenty thousand on that with the offense up so not bad damage i guess but yeah so uh we'll see we'll see how this all works but then just kind of just kind of wrapping things up here at this point he's gone auto and this team is pretty much cleared out at this point so uh clearing shield does not seem to really be an issue you can see the team really did not take a lot of damage shield operative but going before colson really kind of screws up the fight because you've got this evade and defense up and everything colson's really getting neutralized he can't place the taunt can't really do a lot of damage with his ultimate there so uh, against shield looks like it's going to be a fantastic counter so now we've got a going against a hydra team here and this is going to be approximately a 50k punch up with the bonuses here i mean you've got defense down on my team and you've got deflect on them but you've got all these buffs here so it's about a 50 60k punch up somewhere in that realm and you're gonna see that even with that kind of punch up this is like this is it's gonna be nuts what this team does so so the thing is with the ultimate, it's supposed to be a rebound. It's supposed to chain rebound, but you're going to see here in a second, it just goes down the line. Okay, that's fine. We've seen that happen before. Not an issue. We'll come back to that later on in the fight. Now we've got disrupted on a bunch of these characters and we're going to try to time it with Baron Zemo and his, uh, and his passive here in a second so that he's just going to do pretty much try to kill everybody, but we're not going to be able to get that. Not a lot of damage going on here, but we can at least try to cleanse some of these debuffs from these characters. Zima's gonna move again, doesn't kill anybody, but his special's up. And if he kills anybody with the special, they cannot be revived if it's a minion. So goodbye, Hydra Sniper, can't be revived. We're now down to three minions against Red Skull. This slow that you have on Red Skull with Zemo's ultimate is huge because it drastically slows him down. Your team is going stupidly fast because of the 40% speed bonus. You're gonna see how many turns you get to take with your team before you ever get zemo to move and this is kind of like the same thing with x-force fighting hydra is that you uh basically you try to wipe out all the charges on hydra on red skull before he ever gets the chance to use his summon ability and this is kind of the same thing here now we've got the special already back up again on zemo he's gonna use it again kill another character boom now we're down to two minions remember this is a 50k punch up this could be incredibly easy and what we're going to do is we're going to pick off the two minions that Hydra, that Red Skull has summoned and try to save the other minions for when Zemo can hit them with the special and just wipe them out and prevent revives. Now, that's not going to exactly work every time, unfortunately, but it does have a chance of working. We see we got one revive there and we're just going to we're trying to do some damage here, too, so that when Zemo moves and Zemo uh, does his special, He's gonna remove the death proof and then just kill that character and you can see there the ultimate with red skull it goes against it goes against drax here with that defense up and the evade and everything else it really doesn't do a lot of damage that evade with uh yeah you can see there was a dodge there and a couple critical hits but drax barely took any damage and this is the beautiful thing between between crossbones and drax whoever's taunting and have they have they have defense up against this they're gonna do great against this ultimate so we're gonna get a taunt here with crossbones now he's taunting we're gonna get a taunt here with uh with armored guard and now we are basically going to try to use a special one more time kills hydra Gu armored guard and you can see how much damage he's doing this is a three red star gear 12 zemo and look at the damage he's doing with that special against minions Eighty-five thousand. i mean that's just nuts you're gonna see more with the uh, with the tier 14 zemo it's gonna make your jaw drop but that eighty-five thousand. That does piercing damage too and that's a great part with his red stars the more red stars you have that piercing damage is going to increase and that's going to do a lot of damage against minions so here we go wipes it out we now have one minion left at this point might as well just go for red skull he's down to only 25 percent damage reduction you can easily pick on him and take him out here here is the problem here's the bug look at that the ultimate did not rebound this is an issue we've reported already in the envoy chat so they are aware of it we get the ability block and it doesn't rebound so 
this is not working correctly i've had times where it does rebound and i've had times where it doesn't it's very inconsistent so this is a bug they are working on there's other bugs where like if you're facing against another zemo with your crossbones your crossbones will get the benefits of, like the ability energy and everything so enemy zemos are giving like your own hydra team benefits too it's really really weird there's some weird bugs going on here but yeah so uh rebound chains are not consistently working with with zemo here but at this point we're gonna pick we're gonna finish off hydra red skull and there we go so yeah 50k punch up against red skull and his hydra minions really nothing at all i mean the dodges and everything because the minions are moving so often they're giving so much evade to your characters your characters are just dodging everything they're like mc hammer you can't touch us so they are just dodging everything and yeah rip rip hydra and red skull this is a stupidly hard counter against red skull this is uh pretty much what we were expecting if you have a zemo team and you want to go against red skull i'd say you could probably punch up a significant amount like 30 40 percent likely probably even more this is a crazy crazy punch up you can do against red skull with this team now let's wrap this up with the with the mo absolute monster of a of a team here this one this one i had problems with downloading the file so we're just gonna go straight here and we're gonna start off from here at the stop at the tar at sorry at the start this is a 70k punch up against mercs with this team you can see here at the beginning it's uh 227 power on the ally team almost 300k on the enemy merc team the one drawback is that we have deadpool here instead of killmonger but honestly if killmonger's on the team i'm gonna tell you right now it does not make a huge difference the big problem with mercs and with taskmaster is that they have an opening blitz with blind assists and everything zemo's kit completely neutralizes that you already know what's coming here so number one the immunity and the defense up you can't blind with the immunity and zemo is the highest damage character on this team so he's gonna have immunity and you're gonna see the taunt here on zemo we have the ultimate with taskmaster and it puts a blind here on on drax so it looks like he targeted drax with it and that's the beautiful thing of having drax here is that there's a 50 50 chance of drax getting hit with it but even so the immunity and defense up on zemo here was still going to negate any kind of damage that he was going to or any kind of debuffs he was going to take from taskmaster it really does nothing now all the minions start moving and because they're minions you know what that means we're going to start getting evade on the character so we got some assists there but then we have we have merc lieutenant merc rag guard who are not who are using like their non-attack abilities but because they're moving and they're getting assist with taskmaster taskmaster is attacking but the evade cancels things out and there we go we get the damage in with zemo and this is tier 14 so we'll see if we can get a get a good screenshot of the damage here only about 20 to 30k not a lot of damage with that t4 this is kind of a problem this is what i'm hoping to get with the fifth spot in this kind of baron zemo team maybe we get a character who gives us this team offense up that way zemo's passive actually does some real damage that's the one drawback i'm finding so far is that that passive just doesn't do a lot of damage if you don't have offense up especially against minions like he should be doing more damage against minions but they're not really they also have the defense up on the team so that was kind of getting it as well and then we are going to go ahead and we're just gonna we're just gonna have a little fun here we are probably going to try to ability block taskmaster or maybe even merc lieutenant we're trying to try and figure things out here so we got ability block and here we go we got a rebound attack here it looks like so we're gonna get ability block on taskmaster we got merc lieutenant it goes to riot, riot guard and then goes back to lieutenant again so it is rebounding in this fight this is where things are weird so now we've got disrupt and we've got speed down and ability block on these two characters you can get some heal block out here we're gonna use a detonate here with uh with crossbones even with a counter there against uh against against uh a taskmaster there was the evade so it didn't really do anything and now we uh we use hydro grenadier to kind of clean things up here we're now down to three characters and this is are you guys ready for this slow it down here special against the riot guard here's the damage boom look at that 150,000 damage with that special against merc riot guard i mean good night that is absolutely absurd so yeah the more minions that are going to be on these teams the better off things are going to be here just absolutely murders that poor that poor riot guard he never had a chance 
and then we just kind of finish things off here we go for uh we go for deadpool here uh we'll get a little taunt here try to see if he i think he kills the drax yeah, he kills the drax and then we'll finish off taskmaster and then we finish off deadpool this footage is a little laggy looks like it was shot in a phone so uh not the best but yeah i mean look at that that battle is over in about a minute and a half that that fight took no time at all that punch up was just crazy the detonate the rebound attacks the the disrupt everything i mean it just wrecked this team within moments and that was beautiful and yeah that's the great thing so grenadier actually hits okay and i mean there's possibly some strong power there but yeah so uh baron zemo against minion teams absolutely shreds them mercs look like they're gonna be a very very solid pot punch up especially if you have a powerful baron zemo same with hydra the uh, yeah the rip any minion any rip any minion team you have on defense zemo is just absolutely gonna crush it so let me know down below what do you guys think about this footage are you guys impressed with what you're seeing with zemo and war let me know but as always make sure to hit that like button share and subscribe to the channel for more marvel strike force content in the future and as always i will see you guys next time